The next prime right. minister of Pakistan accuses al-Qaeda and Taliban militants of trying to assassinate her. The bomb attack killed dozens of people. Tonight, CBS 2's Mike Parker has reaction from Pakistanis here in Chicago. It was a suicide bomb attack that killed more than 130 people and injured 200 to 300 others. The bombs were apparently intended to kill Pakistan's pro-democracy leader, Benazir Bhutto. Emotional shockwaves are being felt in Chicago's Pakistani community along the far north side's Devon Avenue. I hate terrorism. I hate this kind of people to do this. A journalist who writes for Chicago's News Pakistan Weekly talked by phone today with a witness who saw a security guard grab one of the bombers. He just ran behind him and he grabbed him. And the bomb blow, second bomb. And he'll die by himself and he'll die blow. The owner of the Zamzam Cafe says his fellow Pakistanis in Chicago are worried. They are feeling uh, scary and they are feeling that uh, it could be spread out all over the Pakistan. A local supporter of Benazir Bhutto says only her election as prime minister can save the nation. We need free and fair election in Pakistan. That's the solution of the, our country. We need a school. We need a colleges. We need hospitals. Supporters of Benazir Bhutto here in Chicago are also suspicious of how security was handled before the bombing. It was after sundown, they say. Why were the street lights turned off? On Devon Avenue, Mike Parker, CBS 2 News. Well, Bhutto said only democracy can save Pakistan from falling apart and ward off a militant takeover.